If you are a business who uses Instagram, there is a high chance that you're going to need to share links on your Instagram, but Instagram does not make it easy to share your links. So in this video, I wanna show you the ways to share your links and the ways that you shouldn't be sharing your links. Let's dive in. So hi, if we haven't met before, my name is Jackie and I'm a graphic designer who loves helping business owners create their own strategic brand and graphics. But today we're talking about Instagram and people often find Instagram a little bit tricky because you can't just add a link into the caption if you didn't know that. So let's rewind quickly to what you shouldn't do. So as I said, unfortunately, you can't add links to Instagram captions. I mean, you can add the link to the caption, but what that means is that no one can click on it. And I don't know about you, but I'm rarely typing in links anymore, especially if it goes to like a really convoluted website address. If your website is like hello.com.au, I might type it in. But beyond that, people aren't going to retype out your link and remember that. So adding your links to Instagram caption is not the way to do it. You can do this in Facebook, so feel free to do that, but not on Instagram. You also can't add links to Instagram images. So a lot of people think, oh, I can add links on my Canva graphics. I'll just add a link, upload that to Instagram and people can click on it. No, there's no way to have links inside your images and your posts be clickable. So even if you create a clickable graphic on Canva, you can't actually load that into Instagram to be clickable. In fact, you can't actually have JPEG or PNG images to be clickable at all. There needs to be PDF files. So side note for you. So what ways can you share links and what are you meant to do? There are three ways to share links on Instagram, but they don't all work for each sort of post or thing that you might be sharing. So I'm going to put a graphic on the screen now. You'll see that you can do link in bios for your static posts and for your reels and for your stories. A link in bio, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that soon. But in essence, you direct people back to your bio or your profile and people click on the link that's clickable there. The second option is to ask people to comment a particular word and you then connect your Instagram to an automated program that sends people the link in their messages. And the final way is a link sticker, but this is only available in your Instagram stories, not in your reels and not in your Instagram posts. So let's chat about Instagram link stickers first. As I said, this is only available in your stories, but is such an easy way to add links for people to be able to access. Now, remembering that Instagram is a mobile app. It's a mobile friendly thing. You can access it on your computer, but it's not really made to do a heap on your computer. It's really a mobile priority. So you're going to want to open up Instagram on your mobile and then you want to create a story. So I'm just going to do a a picture, but you can upload a graphic, you can write text, you don't have to have a picture, whatever that is, it's totally okay but we want to add our link to this. So what we need to do is click on the little face icon up the very top. It's right in the middle of all the different icons and selections. Click on that and you'll see all these options of things you can add to your Instagram stories. You can see you can add photos or questions or polls, or so many different options. But what we want to look for is the link sticker. So this one for me, it's right. It's in the middle to the right. I'm just going to click on that. And once I open it up, you can see that it allows me to insert a URL and it allows me to insert custom sticker text. So first you want to type in your website address. You can then choose what you want to do next. You can just press done right now. If I press done, you'll see that it inserts a little link sticker right here. This link sticker I can make larger by stretching and pinching with my fingers. I can make smaller. I can move it around by moving around with my fingers. But sometimes just adding the text of the URL isn't very appealing for people. So what I actually recommend doing instead is I'm going to delete this. I'm going to hold it and drag it down to the trash can, click on my face sticker again, click on my link sticker again, insert my link again, my URL, and I'm going to press customize sticker text. This allows me to have that, that link look like it says something else. I might say something really simple, like visit my website, or I might say something really fun, like upgrade your brand. So I'm just going to type in some text here. So you can type in anything here. It just can't be super long. And then again, press done. Once that happens, you can see that this text is now on the link sticker. It's still going to go to my original URL, but the text says something different. This is a really strategic way to help people want to interact with your link rather than feeling really boring. And you can also customize this link sticker to be a different color. If I tap on it, it's going to tap through a few different options. It's gonna be a more transparent version. It's gonna be a rainbow option, an all caps black version, blue version, black version, and then go back through. So you can just rotate through these. But if you actually hold your finger down, you can see that eyedropper appear on the right-hand side. If I keep holding my finger down and move it across, I'm gonna try to show you on my screen here. If I hold my finger down and move it across to the eyedropper, it's gonna let me select a color from my design. So I can move my eyedropper around with my finger and I can select a different part of the image. So I might choose a purple color over here. And now you'll see that the link color is that purple color. So that's just a great way to add your branding into that. The second option to adding links to your Instagram is to add them into the link in the bio. This is a clickable area as well. And you can add up to five links here. So the way you do that is you go to your profile. So if you don't know where to access that, you just click on the little image of you in the right hand bottom corner. So you can see the edit profile button here, edit profile. And down here, you can edit all of your different details. But what I want to show you is this link section in the middle here. Here, I can add in up to five links. So as you can see here, I have one called bio site forward slash white deer. That's kind of like what you call a link tree. It's a different brand of link tree. And I'll show you that in a moment where you can just kind of make your own mini website. 
What I actually recommend here is not using a, an app like I have here, but actually making a page on your website that's mobile friendly, that features all of your main links for your business. This is a really great way to direct people straight to your website, get traffic straight there and to help to track people and all those things. But I haven't had time to create my own custom website yet, so I haven't done it. The way that you can add a link in is by adding pressing, pressing the add external link button and typing in again your URL. And again, you can just leave it as a URL or you can give it a custom name like my website. I can then press done. You can see now on my profile where it has the links, then you can press one more and it brings up all of my links. It has all of my links, which I've got as a link there. And it also has my website as a link option. So people can then click on that straight from their thing and access whatever links you share. And so that's how you do your link in bio. And the third option, which is very popular at the moment, and you would have seen this if you have spent any time on Instagram. And it's when people say, comment X word on my post or on my story, and I'll send you the link. I'll DM you the link. This is done through an automation through a program called ManyChat. And ManyChat connects to your Instagram, or you can do this on Facebook as well. And it will send people a message when they comment a particular word on a particular post. So say, for example, lots of my posts, if you comment the word serious or seriously, then it'll send you a link or it'll help step you through actually even like entering your email address and entering your name in so that you can get a free video series sent straight to you. And so if people can't be bothered going to your bio, finding the right link, you could actually just help people and send them the link straight away. And so a really simple thing you can do is to say, for example, if I click on my automation here inside ManyChat, if someone comments on this particular post and they comment the keyword pro, then it's going to actually send them a message straight away that says, hooray, so excited you want my video. Here's the link. And then they can just click on that link straight away instead of them having to go to my bio, mess around. They can just go straight there. The benefit of this is not only is it easier for people to comment, just comment that link. It also increases your engagement on Instagram. Instagram really prioritizes posts and reels and stories that have people interact with them, have people engage with them. And so if your business is asking people to comment and people are commenting on your posts, then Instagram is seeing that people are engaging in that post and it's going to help that post to perform better and to get in front of more eyeballs. And so having these mini chat automations is a really great tool. I've actually got a link below for mini chat if you want to give it a go. I am on the pro version. You can do one automation on mini chat free. Um, there are a few limitations to it, but I think it's a really great way to get started. But if you want something a little more intricate, like the one I'm, I've got here, I've kind of got, if someone comments the word seriously on any of my posts, I've got it on any of my posts, then it just means that it gives them a message and then it asks them for their name and asks them for their email address. It sends them to the link to watch my videos. They don't even have to go somewhere to sign up for the freebie. They can just do that straight inside their Instagram messages. So it just helps people not to get lost, helps people to move along in the process and helps you to get more leads in your business. So that's what I'm doing a lot of the time for my links now. I personally like to do link in bio as well in case people just don't feel like commenting. Um, but sometimes it's, it's just too hard to link all of your links inside your link in bio, but just quickly setting up an automation is so, so easy. My favorite feature is actually I can set up a new automation. And if I haven't actually done my post yet, I can say today, I'm going to do a post this evening. I can set up my automation while I'm working today to send people to an ex YouTube video by commenting like say they were getting sent to this YouTube video, I might say comment link to get sent to this YouTube video. I can actually tell ManyChat to say the next post I post, apply this automation to it. So I don't even have to have posted the post for the automation to apply. So I find that one so, so useful. And so those are the three ways to share your links on Instagram. As a reminder, there is the link in bio, there's a link sticker on your Instagram, and there are many chat automations where you can ask people to comment on a post. You can even do the same thing with your Instagram stories as well if you want to increase engagement and really actually like talk to people. Like obviously there's an automation that's going to talk to people for you, but I can see in my Instagram, all of the conversations that have been had and I can go back in and say, Hey, did you enjoy that challenge? Or tell me about your business. I'd love to get to know you. And so those are some really great ways that we can build connection on our Instagram. We can share those links in an easy way and we can really strategically use Instagram to grow our businesses. And so make sure you give many chat a go. I'll add the link in the description for you. It is an affiliate link. If you do sign up for any of the pro versions, but you can just totally try it free with that link as well. I find it so, so great to just try all programs using the free version and then work out if it's worth your while. Is it worth your while with the time it might save you with having people convert more, having more people to go to your website or find your Instagram, having more people comment on your posts to increase that engagement, to actually go to those next steps of looking at your, your offering, watching your videos, downloading your freebie and increasing those things so that you can get more eyeballs and more leads on your business. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye.